This is a quick look at something you saw during the Flappy Bird tutorial I built for you. If you haven't seen the video, click on the upper right for a link. While playing the game, if you click the button, the bird flew up. But the question is, what code did I use? Well, I used tween, which is a movement of an object during a duration of time. This is used in gaming, and Coco's creator takes full advantage of it. If you look at the code, there are many parts to a tween, but I'm here to give you a quick look at each one. There are five parts to any tween. The node with an optional property and the interface is always needed. But there are some commands, the duration time, the property of the node we're editing, and if we're doing this with an easing, which one and added required code are all needed. The interfaces are available from our documentation, but I'll review a few. First, we have two, which tells you a set location, position, or setting the node has to end on. Another one is by, which tells you how much to add or subtract from the node's setting. For example, move the pixel another five spaces. We have repeat, which tells you how many times you want to repeat an action before the tween ends, and then repeat forever, meaning to keep doing it until the node is destroyed or you leave the scene. With this, you can look at the first few examples I built. If you want to look more into these, you can download this project from the Cocoa Store for free. You can see I have five different tween actions. They're all the same, except I changed the easing type. So let's look at one now. You can see I have the node's name, and then I'm asking for its position. And then I'm calling on dot two, and then that inside has a duration length. I'm calling on a new location I want it to go to as well. And I'm using the required VEC3, but because I'm in 2D space, I'm only changing the X location. It's the only one being changed. Next, I call an easing and choose from these options. Finally, I return the node to its original position with the same call. After this, I call a union to place all the actions together into one long action. It's a requirement when you have more than one action. I then ask it to repeat forever and start. It's just that easy. But this isn't it. We can do the same thing with other parts of a node. Check out these ones. I have them all doing different actions. Looking into the code, you can see I'm doing the same thing without easings. But instead of calling on the position, I'm calling on another setting of the node. So you have many options. Here is one node where I added a UI component and was able to edit it with tweens. So this works with many components you build yourself or part of Cocos Creator. For more advanced tween actions, check out our 3D example project at GitHub. So go check out our tutorial on Cocos Store and I hope you use it in your next game.